and we have a chlorine on the second carbon atom. So if we number the carbon atoms, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So the longest chain still has 5 carbon atoms. However, there is one chlorine atom on the first carbon and there is the other chlorine atom on the second carbon. So this time it will become 1, 2 dichloroethane, uh, dichloropentane. So this will uh, have a stereoisomer because if you notice, even though there is no carbon-carbon double bond, so no geometric isomers, uh, the second carbon atom is a chiral center. And as the second carbon atom is a chiral center, this will exist as two optical isomers. So if I were to draw these two optical isomers, the 3D shape, we always draw three-dimensional shape for the optical isomers. So I have made a slight mistake. This will be the dotted line. I'm sorry about that. This will be the dotted line. So this is one optical isomer and the other will be its non-superimposable mirror image. Non-superimposable non mirror image. So this will become So you can see that we have two optical isomers because we have the second carbon atom which I'm making an asterisk on is a chiral center. So I will write into two over here because this exists as two optical isomers. Now let's draw another isomer. So again, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So this time, you can see that instead of the second, the chlorine is on the third, and the one on the first remains there. So this becomes 1, 3, dichloropentane. And again, if you see, third carbon atom is uh, a chiral center. So... be into two because it, it will exist as two optical isomers. Now let's draw another isomer. So this time instead of the third, the chlorine atom is on the fourth. So this becomes one, four, dichloropentane. This, again, the fourth carbon atom is a chiral center, so again, this will be into two. So it's two stereoisomers for this one. Now, now in, the, in, the, in, the, in this isomer, the two chlorine atoms are on the end, so one is on the first carbon atom, one is on the fifth carbon atom. So this will become one five dichloro. Now this one will not have any optical isomers because you can see there is no chiral center. Sorry about that. Now let's draw some on this side. We are not yet done because this will have some branched isomers as well. So uh, and and well, before we start the branched isomers, we are still sticking on to the five carbon chain for now because what if there is one on the second and there is one on the third? So this will become... Okay, so let's start numbering. One, two, three, four, and five. So this will become two, three, dichloropentane. Now in this one, if you see, there is there are two chiral centers. One is the second carbon atom and one is the third carbon atom. So since there are two chiral centers, 
there will be two optical isomers for one chiral center and two optical isomers for the other chiral center.